Ah. Uh, food truck. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Thank you for their actually putting that announcement, Verbus. I mean, I'll probably have to explain it when the notey comes out anyway, but we need food truck sim. I, I'm, I'm delaying playing it, not because I don't want to, because I want the game to be good. Okay. And food truck sim just got released, and most sim games, when they get released, have a shitload of bugs. And I don't want to play it when it has those bugs because then everybody will want me to quit the game because it'll have so many problems. So I'm giving it like a month uh, for them to update it and then we'll play. Uh, and if it's ass still, then then we'll move on. Spider-Man, Spider-Man we're going to do Wednesday. Spider-Man we're going to do a full stream of it. So I didn't really want to start it. I didn't want to start Spider-Man today because I told everybody I was going to do it on Wednesday. Uh, and people have been anticipating that. So I don't really want to just like skip it and then have people miss. Mark for the sub, Nate for the sub. So we're doing movie trailer reactions, actually. It's going to be fun. Uh, all of the, or not all of them, but a lot of upcoming movie trailers. I compiled a bunch, uh, a bunch of expected movies for the rest of this year and early next year. Oh, turn on the fridge. You picked mine. Uh, I, I we're, we're probably going to add more. I have like 20, I have 22 movie trailers in this, but obviously as I watch them, you guys will probably give me other movie trailers to add um, that I haven't thought of or don't know about. Another for the, for the sub at tier three. Another range for the sub at tier three. Jesus. I haven't gotten a sub at tier three in a fucking grip. Thank you for the tier three sub. About 22 trailers, that's a lot. Well, realistically, a trailer is, what, one to two minutes? So they actually fly by pretty quick. Uh, realistically, we could probably watch, like, 30. <laughs> like, in, in, like, an hour and a half. Like, it won't take that long, you know what I mean? Trizzy for the sub. Hello, everybody flooding in! How is everybody doing on this fine fucking... Saturday. We have some big fucking plays today. Number one, I said I was going to be playing Food Truck Sim. We're not playing Food Truck Sim today. That game just got released. It has a shitload of mixed reviews. I'm waiting for them to patch some of the bugs so I can play it and the game is an ass, okay? Whenever a new Sim game comes out, they have a lot of fucking issues. Uh, they usually get patched and then the game's great, right? I don't want to play the game when the game's asked because then, then I'm not going to want to ever play it again, right? So, instead of playing the game and ruining it, we're going to wait a month to play it. Instead, today we're going to be doing what I was talking about. Um, we're going to be watching movie trailers. Specifically, uh, a bunch of movie trailers that are upcoming, uh, not released yet movies. Um... Not old movie trailers, new movie trailers. Uh, some of them are actually older, but they're about movies that are coming out either this year or next year. Okay? Uh, I'm going to be watching a lot. Feel free to join the Discord, exclamation point Discord, and you can send more movie trailers for me to react to of upcoming movies. Uh, if there are, if your movie that you want me to fucking see the movie trailer to isn't on this list. I have 22 movie trailers. There's ones that are fucking scary, action, romance, Disney, Marvel, whatever the fuck, right? So, we're going to watch the movie trailers together. And after every movie trailer, we are going to say yay or nay on whether or not we would watch said movie. I'm going to give my opinion on the movie. I'm probably going to shit on a lot of the movies, even though I haven't seen any of them because none of them are out. Okay? Does that make sense? After that, this will probably be like an hour and a half, two hours of doing this. Then we're going to probably play some gaming, whatever you guys want me to play. I don't really know. I'll let you guys decide when we get there. Bart for the sub, Panther for the sub, Cero, Ryan for the sub, Hydra for the Thringe Vets. Love the stream. Keep up the good work. You always make my day better. Dub, two inch for the sub, it's Fax, Alina, it's Goblin, and Morph for the sub. And Moody for the sub for 10 months. All right. Not Pico Park. I'm not okay. I see, I already see people putting Pico Park. You can go fuck yourself with Pico Park, okay? I'm not playing Pico Park again. We're playing this shit, or we're fucking watching the goddamn movie trailers, and then I'll ask you guys what, me, what you want me to fucking play. Should we start out with the Black Adam trailer? I didn't know. 
Uh, none of these are in any specific order other than the three fucking Pinocchio movies that are all coming out in the same goddamn year for some fucking reason. But the rest are just random. I didn't know which one to start with. Do you guys want to start with the Black Adam one? There's so many. There's Black Adam. We have a bunch of Marvel movies. Avatar 2. Now, we'll get into those. We'll start with Black Adam. That's a staple. Jesus Black Christ. Adam. What have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but hearty. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. Is it just me or is it weird seeing The Rock as a superhero? Like, I, I, there's a disconnect with watching The Rock as a superhero because that bro is in every fucking movie ever. Like, when I, when I watch, like, dude, dead ass. when I see Black Adam, I will refer to him as The Rock. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm watching a Leonardo DiCaprio, like, any famous, famous actor... If I'm, like, Iron Man and all that shit, like, they've already been in the staple of Marvel and just superheroes so long that I'll call them by their superhero name. But, like, if I see, like, a Leonardo DiCaprio movie, I won't even know his his name in the movie. I will just refer to him as his name. It's the same thing with The Rock. If The Rock's in a movie, they gave him, like, the name John, John Swavey. I'll just call him fucking The Rock. Like, I'm not going to call, I, like, when I watch Black Adam, I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, that's Black Adam. I'm going to be like, no, that's Dwayne. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Now, I kneel before no one. This, this movie does look sick, though. This Does this movie look good? I want to watch this movie. In this world, hero. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Okay, I don't know shit about the DC universe. In this world, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Dude's got a phoenix. The phoenix wings. That's Hawkman. That's his name. That no, that's not Hawkman. His name's Falcon. No. Okay, now people are saying Hawkman. His name's Hawkman. Bro, I'm just not a fan of how DC movies name people. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they just got... They don't have that shit down. They're heroes. And, like, what? Dude, like, that just looks like... That just looks like, uh... Ant-Man. That's literally Ant-Man. I I will say, DC has gotten their shit together recently. That's Adam, man. <laughs> do they just have the word? Do they just have something, man, at the end of all? That's Wingman. That's Hawkman. That's Adam, man. That's, that's Lava, man. <laughs> do they come up with a different fucking name? They don't have to put something, man, at the end of everything. Villains. Heroes don't kill people. Like that motherfucker looks dumb as shit. Like this. <laughs> Bro is wearing a bird mask. Well, I do. This fall. When does this come out? When does this come out? You have two choices. You can beat the destroyer. And how does he know how to fly? I like, <laughs> bro. I, it's not even just DC. It's not even just DC movies, right? But like, let's just think logically here. Let's just think logically here. How is he flying? Does he, as a human, have some genetic capability? To warp space time so he's always falling forward because he doesn't have like wings like Hawkman does, right? So he's just like floating. The future. 
you have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. That's a pretty savage line. That's a pretty savage line. That'll that'll definitely get some ticket buys. You can either be the destroyer of this world or the one who saves it. That's up to you. Do they end every superhero trailer in something funny? Because this is going to be the funny scene. You can tell this is going to be the funny scene. This is the funniest scene in the whole movie. Stop pausing it every two seconds. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> Behind you! Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. How are his clothes still on? How are his clothes still on? How are his clothes still on? Bro, see, this don't, this shit don't, like, uh, like, okay, he's a god. His clothes aren't fucking burn proof. Is this DMCA? I mean, it's movie trailers. I wouldn't think so. October 21st. Is that a yay or a nay, chat? Is that a yay or a nay? Use the emotes. Use the yay or nay. Are there yay or nay emotes? Aren't there yay or nay emotes? <laughs> I think there are yay or nay emotes somewhere. Yeah, there are. So many people are using them. Yeah, nay. Uh, Undead for the sub. Drew for the sub. Time for the sub. Jack for the Thringe Bets. Mr. Bartman, do you smoke weed? And today's the day the vegan teacher gets killed. Uh, why are you saying that? Like, you're acting like you're gonna kill that vegan teacher. Shrek for the sub. Q for the sub. Also, I'm not answering that question. Love for the three. Double 12 to the next streamer or take it. Double $12 to the next streamer or take it. Love you, Joe. Double it. Double it. Double it to the next streamer. Double it to the next streamer. Viper for the three. My dog Rex died. I wish I spent more money with him. Rip Rex. F in the chat for uh, Viper's dog. You test for the sub lacrosse. It's paper for the sub. Two E for the sub. Jack for the three hundred bits. Uh, what do a tick and the Eiffel Tower have in common? They're both Paris sites. Okay. Now, <laughs> blue for the sub. Um. The movie trailers are DMCA. Every single movie trailer's DMCA. There's no shot. There's no shot every movie trailer's DMCA. Are movie trailers DMCA? Fuck. Am I allowed to watch these on Twitch? Yeah, streamers watch them all the time. I've watched movie trailers on fucking stream before. XQC watches them. If XQC watches them, can I watch movie trailers on Twitch? I don't even know why I'm Googling this because I'm going to do it anyway. Um, a partnered streamer can stream movie trailers and such. Um, oh, fuck. Are we allowed to watch them? What is DMCA? It's like basically copyright. I don't know if I'm allowed to watch these. Whatever, who cares? Can I watch this? Do a poll. Do a poll. We'll do a poll. We'll do a poll. Can we watch movie trailers on Twitch? I don't know if it's allowed. I would assume so. They don't have any ruling against it. And there's no, like, it's a trailer. I'm not watching the fucking movie. I'm reacting to a trailer. Can I watch? Dude, Moist Critical watches movie trailers on stream literally, like, every day. Most studios don't care if you display a trailer on your site as it's promoting their movie. Exactly. Like, even if it's copyrighted, the, the, the places don't care because I'm promoting their movie. 
don't or dom for the three next time you eat your eggs only cook the yolks throw them in peanut butter toast that shit makes you bust that sounds gross pop up for the sub all right next one the little mermaid I'm going to already say no to this movie. <laughs> I'm going to already say no to this movie. Just because it's The Little Fucking Mermaid. I hated that movie. Unless this shit blows me away, it's fucking garbage. Hold up. All right. Also, is it just me or is Disney lazy as fuck? Is Disney lazy as fuck recently? Like, I I'm not saying this shit ain't gonna be a banger. We haven't even watched it yet. But, like, Disney's just been remaking. Like, dude, the, the one after this, I'm pretty sure, is the Pinocchio one. Like, they're just fucking remaking movies. It's like, it's like remastering a Call of Duty game. Like, bravo. You just made the graphics better. Same plot, same everything. This does look cool. We already saw this trailer on stream. Yeah, I know. I'm going to shit on it again. You know why I'm going to shit on it again? Because it's all CGI. That's why this movie's going to suck, in my opinion. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's only a minute. We'll watch this one. God damn it, this fucking music's so loud. I just hate singing movies. I fucking hate singing movies, bro. They're so annoying. I have never liked them. From being a fucking kid, I've never liked singing movies. It's like every Disney movie, bro. It's just like, why are we breaking out in song to show our emotion? Wish I could be. How are you singing underwater? How are you singing underwater? I can't get past it. You're, this whole movie's CGI'd. And you're sick. Have you ever tried to talk underwater? It's a movie, Joe. It's fictional. I don't give a fuck. Have some sort of logic. Of it would be... Blah, blah, blah. It would be fucking water would be coming out of your mouth. You're underwater. You're like fucking 300 feet underwater right now. You're by, you're by a shipwreck. You're not going to be able to fucking sing. It's pissing me off. Nay. Nay. Nay, I vote no on that one. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. I'm not watching it. I will watch it. My girlfriend will probably make me watch it, but I'm going to hate it. I've never liked I've never liked a little mermaid movie ever in my entire life. Uh Viper from the Bridge of here. My favorite streamer, you help me have a laugh when I'm sad at work. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad I could help. All right, next. Next, we have the fucking Pinocchio trailer. Uh, this is one of three Pinocchio trailers that we're watching because apparently every single person has decided to make a Pinocchio movie, uh, because now it is like under free domain or what is that called? It's like not a, th it's like you, it, it's the same thing that happened with, um, Winnie the Pooh. You can make your own movie now with, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Like, you can make, it's like, it's free use. It's free use, that's what it is. Even though it's technically, like, Disney's, they, they don't own the name anymore because it's been so long. Swaggy for the sub. Public domain, whatever. Uh, they're making one, and then there's two more. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... I would step on that fucking bean thing. I would kill him. ...to you, the eighth wonder of the world. King Wolves for the 500 bits. Thank you for doing a Little Mermaid watch party when it comes out. I can't wait. I'm not doing a Little Mermaid watch party. I will never do a Little Ma Mermaid watch party. No. Pinocchio! Oh. Oh, dude. See, they just pull at your nostalgia, bro. 
They pull out your nostalgia to try and get you to fucking get this shit. Pinocchio! And then they show the fucking castle and then you're in. Then you're fucking reeled in. Hello, Pops. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, jeepers. An almost real boy. <laughs> Turn around. Let me get a look at you. I will be right here when you get back. Is that Tom Hanks? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that Tom Hanks, the man who talks to the volleyball? What the fuck? Why the hell is he in this movie? Pinocchio. Another angel to hell for the 15 fucking gifteds. What the fuck? Thank you for the 15 fucking gifted subs, bro. Damn. 15 gifties. Another angel to hell. Dub in the chat. Thank them if you got a sub. You are a fucking beast. Thank you for the goddamn subs. Thank you for the fucking subs. Bravo, bravo. W in the chat. Thank you for the subs, man. Oh, he's running around loose without a conscience? Can you imagine the trouble he's gonna get into? Wouldn't want that on my conscience. Everybody who's anybody wants to be a somebody. But I want to be real. Why on earth would you want to be real? You're not real, Pinocchio, you dumb fuck. You're made of wood. You're made of wood. You're not fucking real. When you can be. And why does that fox know how to talk? Blank for the 25 fucking gifteds, bro. Blank 2232 for the 25 gifted subs. Pog in the fucking chat. Dub in the fucking chat. Thank you for the goddamn subs. Thank them if you got a sub. Iron for the sub. Bro! How many subs were we at? We're at goddamn 44 subs today. What the fuck? Dub in the chat. Blank. Thank you for the goddamn subs. That's out of nowhere, too. Oh, my God. So many subs. Another angel to hell. And blank for the subs. Oh, and Dan Dunn. I missed that one. Thank you for the subs, bro. Oh, my God. Wow. A lot of subs. A lot of subs. Pog in the chat. September. Yes. Pinocchio should have been home by now. Pinocchio! What a dumb fucking scene. Bro's holding a fucking... Bro's holding a bowl of water with a fish in it. Pinocchio! Oh, no. You lost your wooden doll. <laughs> oh, no. Like a bolt, a bolt, a bolt. Motherfucker saying skip. It's a two-minute movie trailer. Just fucking get through it. He won't be a puppet anymore. That's for sure. Is it just me or is Tom Hanks probably going to be the staple carry of this fucking movie? Tom Hanks will solely carry this movie from a 3 out of 10 to like a 7 out of 10. S alone. Pinocchio. I would watch this movie because Tom Hanks is in it. I'm not even lying. Short for the sub. What the fuck? Non selfish. You will always be my real boy. Is it Pinocchio the one that his nose gets bigger when he lies? Uh, dude, why don't they include that in any of the newer movies? Oh, here they just did. <laughs> I was about to. They just did at the end. A lie can really change a person, Pinocchio. <gasps> What's happening, Jiminy? Looks like some sort of fairy magic. Kind of on the nose, if you ask you me. You know how many funny-ass jokes they could make with fucking Pinocchio? Do you know how many funny-ass fucking jokes they could make? So how how they could make that... They could make Pinocchio a funny-ass fucking movie with the lies. That That's it. That's all they need. That's all they need. They could make that movie a 10 out of 10 if they just made fucking, like, wacky-ass jokes. But no. But no, they'll do like one dumb lie, and then Pinocchio will be like, oh yeah, I don't want my nose to grow, and then he'll stop lying. Lil Brucey for the sub, Booth for the sub. Alright, next Pinocchio movie, because three are coming out. 
three fucking Pinocchio movies are coming out this year. That's insane. Next. Hold on. From my this is the Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. This is a movie that's going to be out on Netflix. From my many wanderings on this earth, I had so much to say about imperfect fathers and imperfect sons. Homie's thumb is fucking dirty. Perfect fathers. Oh my and god, brother. Wash that fucking nail, man. Wow. Wow. Bravery for the five fucking gifteds. Poseidon for the sub. Bravery CR for the five gifted subs. Thank you, bro. Jack for the three bits. What would happen if Pinocchio said my nose will grow? Then it... Oh my god. If Pinocchio said my nose will grow, that would be a lie. But it wouldn't be a lie because it would grow. But then if it's not a lie, it won't grow. In which case it would grow. If Pinocchio said my nose won't grow, would it grow? Yes. At base value, yes. But it's growing because it's a lie. It would it would grow. It would grow be it's a paradox. It's a it's an unlimited loop, right? Because if he says his nose isn't gonna grow, then it would. But then that's not a lie, so then it wouldn't grow. But the initial saying of my nose won't grow would be a lie because it wouldn't grow unless he lied. And so then it would grow. It would grow. Sons. And about loss. And love. I've learned that there are old spirits who rarely involve themselves in the human world. But on occasion... They do. I want to tell you a story. It's a story you may think you This know. one looks way better. This one looks way better. <laughs> you don't. A story. This one looks ass? Why? Why the fuck does Pinocchio look like that? It makes more sense, but like, what the fuck? That's actually probably what he would look like, though. Being real, like, if this were a real story, Pinocchio would probably look like that. Of the wooden boy. Jesus Christ, the audio. I feel as though you've been here before. The wooden boy with the borrowed soul. Be his son. Fill his days with light. We shall call you Pinocchio. I don't know. Is this one better than the other one? Dude, I, I just can't get over how stupid Pinocchio looks. Like, he looks dumb as fuck. I would rather watch this one, though. Kali for the- Or Kaylee, Kali for the five fucking gifteds. Don't know how to say it. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Viper for the 1,100 bits. I have to work. It's cool to see how far you have come as a streamer and YouTuber. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And thank you for the fucking 1,100 bits. And, uh, have fun at work. Lil Brucey for the 300 bits. Can you read my sub message? It would mean a lot. Minnie for the 300 bits. The first one's already out on Disney Plus. Is it really? Uh, Crook for the 300 bits. Why does the deaf girl wear leggings so she can read her lips? What? Oh my god, dude. I immediately got it right after that. I just want to say thank you for making me happy and have helped me with mental health ever since I found your stream. The week my ex left, it was really hard for me. Happy, uh, it was really hard for me to be happy. So thanks, bro. I'm glad I could help, little Brucey. Uh, PJ for the sub. Samuel for the 300 bits. I'm pretty sure the voice actor is Ewan 
Edwin McGregor, a.k.a. Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars. Really? Devoted for the 300 bits. Food truck sim, like, what the fuck, Joe? I was looking forward to it, and I have a fucking G Fuel can. Uh, I'm not playing food truck sim today. I've already explained this. Uh, because food truck sim just came out, and most sim games, when they come out, have a lot of glitches. Food truck sim is one of them based off the reviews, so I want uh, the developers to fix the issues with the game before I play it, because I don't want to have a faulted view of what it is, right? Uh, and now the last Pinocchio movie coming out in 2022. Is this movie out yet? I don't know. Pinocchio, a true story. Paul, Pauly Shore. Spaz for the sub. Avoid for the three bets. When is Food Truck Sim coming out? It's already out. When am I playing it? When they fix the glitches, I just said. There you go. Now, what should we name you? Maybe Leonardo. No, he'd grow up to be a turtle. Oh, that didn't even match his voice. Oh, this one looks the worst. What should we name I think you? I reacted to a clip of this one on TikTok. There you go. Now, what should we name you? Maybe Leonardo. No, he'd grow up to be a turtle who only cares about pizza. I... What a dumb fucking reference. Oh, maybe Leonardo. He'd grow up to be a turtle who only cares about pizza, like the Ninja Turtles. Really? Don't believe my eyes. Your name will be Pinocchio. How would he know about the Ninja Turtles? He just referenced... The whole point of this movie is you're in, like, medieval times. He just referenced... Or you're in, like, the fucking traveling circus times. Like, the fucking, what, like, 1700s or some shit? This motherfucker just referenced 2000's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't believe my eyes. Your name will be Pinocchio. Oh, no. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> this is the TikTok clip I reacted to, bro. This shit. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? What a, what a wor you couldn't have gotten a worse voice actor for this fucking movie. You you couldn't have, just oh my god just naggy. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? <laughs> Father, when can I leave to be on my own? The whole world to see. You are too special, Pinocchio. He doesn't even really look wooden, does he? Like he looks he looks almost human world is full of people who could harm you. The Timeless Story. Our last few shows barely had any audience. We just need to come up with a new ad. Oh, oh, dude, this animation looks like it's from fucking Coca Melon. Oh, no. This looks like Coca Melon, bro. Dead ass. This looks awful. Come up with a new ad. Oh, come on. You thought you knew. The coach is headed for the cliff. She's gonna fall. Hold <laughs> on. Senorina, how is he doing that? How is he doing? Is that like his, Pinocchio's signature move? The fucking hop off horse slow backflip in, into saving someone? He's gonna fall. Hold on. Senorina, <laughs> what? Left it. <laughs> Are you made of wood? You will become a star, my boy. Ladies. To be fair, I don't think a person made of wood would be that cool of an attraction. In a circus. Like, I... It's more of, like, a, a philosophical confusion of how you're alive as a wooden creature. Yes, it would. Yeah, but, like... What am I, like, what are you going to ask him? How are you alive? I don't know. End of story. That's literally it. How are you alive? I don't know. Because there is, is there an explanation of how Pinocchio's alive? It's not like, oh yeah, well I'm from, I'm from planet Zoltar, where actually uh, all of us are made of wood. And, like, if I'm seeing a dude that's made of wood, I don't want to see him do tricks. I can see any human do tricks. I want to see him talk about how he's made of fucking wood and is somehow living. 
It looks like our wooden Romeo is in love with Bella. Did you seriously think that you and Bella... <laughs> There is a fairy. Her name is Lucilda. I'm sure she could turn you into a real boy. Let's Dude, the the act the mouth the mouth doesn't match. Look. I'm sure she could turn you into I a sure Like Jesus, bro. This animation is just fucking terrible. Real boy. Let's go, Timbo! Great adventures away! Take the adventure. I did want to see the world, but I realized she is the most beautiful thing the world has to offer. Now, I'm going to ask a question. If Pinocchio's in love with this woman, would they be able to I would assume a woodmaker wouldn't give Pinocchio a genital, right? Like, I wouldn't, yeah, no. And nor, even if he did, wouldn't, that would be, it would be wooden. And he's, like, splintery. With no strings attached. Pinocchio. He would use his nose. <laughs> he would just start telling lies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't even know if they have that in this one. Like, him lying. Pinocchio is not just a puppet, he's a miracle. And miracles are priceless. That went straight over my tongue. Featuring the voices of Polly Shore. I'm made out of high quality material. John Heater. I promise to look after him at all times. And that is the only good cast, is John Heater as the horse. The dude from Napoleon Dynamite. I'm Kenny. I just need you, Pinocchio. Love. Pinocchio, you'll be a star someday, no doubt. I don't need another human performer. I need a talking puppet. We'll put on a show that won't soon forget. Pinocchio. A yeah, no, that's an L. That one was the worst one. That 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 one. I would I would probably watch that one over all of the other ones though, for the sole reason that I don't real I wouldn't really want to watch any of them. And so I would rather watch the worst possible one. You know what I mean? Like, if you had three movie options and you know they're all gonna suck, wouldn't you rather watch the worst one possible? Because then it's fucking funny that it's that bad. Mad for the Fiverr's Bits. I think the original version of Pinocchio movie is from Russia, but I watched this movie and it's so fucking bad that it's hilarious. You watched this one? Jack for the three bets. He would lie. His nose would get bigger. And then, yeah. Uh, Devoted for the three bets. Do you think Disney Plus version still has the scene where the child drinks beer and becomes a donkey when he is enslaved to an island? What? I got timed out. I don't know why is, is swearing not allowed in chat. I don't know why you got timed out. I'm nor am I looking right now. How do you how do you follow Will Smith in the snow? You follow the Fresh Prince. <clears throat> Spaz for the sub. All right. Next one. Next one. We got a Marvel one. This one should be good. Secret Marvel Studios Secret Invasion. Is this a movie or a show? This is a series. This is a series. We'll still watch this one. Natalie for the sub. You've been avoiding Earth? QD for the sub. I have called for your help plenty of other times, and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Yeah, well, this is different. Marvel Studios. How much do you know about your security detail? I'm doing a rant in like a week or two, chat, probably. On why uh, Marvel superheroes have only gotten worse. Or, I mean, or how Marvel superheroes suck now, rather. How much do I know about them? 
Not saying the movies suck, but the heroes are starting to get. Eh. Fury, we gotta be very careful now. No shape for this fight that lies before us. This is just the beginning. This is my war alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like I, 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 I can't really say anything. And this is a point that I'm going to make when I talk about Marvel. It's like any other Marvel movie. Am I wrong? It's like any other... It's not a movie. This is a series. It's like any other Marvel movie or series. It's like... It's like something... It, 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 it's like reverting back to the Avengers almost. Where like the world ending disaster isn't as large. It's more like, oh, a villain rather than like, oh, a sentient super super being that can kill the entire universe so it's it's more of like a lesser problem and it's more of like an action movie but it's in a show it's like what it's it's repetitive it's what marvel's just doing over and over again i don't know and i and somebody said marvel's been falling off marvel has not been falling off marvel if anything has gotten bigger it's just it, they're the the only reason I think they're getting bigger is because they're the only thing that actually makes decent movies here and there. Like it, like every other movie, other than Marvel movies, have to compete with Marvel. Like Marvel is the standard in movies now. Am I wrong? Marvel's literally the standard. If you don't beat Marvel, it's a bad movie. Or if you don't match Marvel, it's a bad movie. And so it's just, like, Marvel themselves have kind of just, I feel like, gotten lazy with it. Like, She-Hulk seems so fucking bad. All right. Next one. This is a... Oh, God. All right. Now we're getting to some horror ones. Just seed in for the sub. Was that a yay or a nay, though? That was a, that was a show series. I would say that was a yay. Just because it seemed decent. But it's just, like, it's like you're watching a fucking John Wick movie. You know what I mean? It's just like you're watching a show version of a John Wick movie, but it's not John Wick. It's uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. This is a scary movie. You know, you're the first person I've ever shown this place to. Why, Why is it so quiet? Special. Because soon, we'll be Christopher and Mary Robin. You should be close now. We're not going to find them. We will. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore. We were friends for many years, and they're out there. Christopher, we need to leave. Now. I really need to find out what's happened here, okay? <laughs> this place is kind of cold. Um, did you see how it's at all? We need to go. There's <gasps> Did Winnie the Pooh just chloroform someone? <laughs> Did Winnie the Pooh just fucking chloroform someone? The flower is dead. There's someone else outside. What was that? Was that Piglet? <laughs> To be friends, why are you doing this, please? I would have never left that sweater. Oh, that's Christopher Robin. <laughs> nah, I I don't know. I don't. I feel like it's it looks good, but I feel like I feel like they're showing like every good scene. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I would watch it. It seems different. I like the idea. I like the idea of like a childhood um 
like story and movie that we've all watched becoming bad. Like I, I think that I think that would be. I I think that I, that would be a, that would be a movie I would definitely at least try. That would that would definitely be a movie I would at least try. Oh God. Now we got this bullshit. I I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a few choice words for this fucking movie series. Halloween ends. Official trailer. Dude, I literally can't with Michael Myers anymore, bro. It's like actually, dude, after last year, I'm okay. I'll let the trailer play and then I'll rant. Come and get me, motherfucker. No! I'm gonna watch it, but I fucking hate. Michael Myers movies now. Dude. They said after, if you watch, did any of you watch last year's Michael Myers movies? Or any of them, for that matter. If you've ever watched a Michael Myers movie, dude. He is, uh, the, the premise of the movie, and I understand it's supposed to be somewhat cliche, but like, I watched last year's one. They, if you haven't seen last year's one, I'm spoiling it, Okay. They almost, they beat him to death. They, they literally all, sh they shot Michael Myers, I don't know, eight times in the chest, right? They shot him, like, eight times. They fucking smashed his head in with a bat. He was fine. Was fine. Literally fine. L a human. And I understand that in the movie, it's like, oh, the, when you, when you, when you, sh when, when he kills people, it makes him stronger. But it's like, what's the point of making these movies if there's literally not even a chance that th he is killable. And they're calling it Halloween Ends, so maybe this is the last one ever. But, like, every other movie, like, I thought the last one was going to be the last one. He already is dead. Well, he's already dead, so it doesn't matter. It's just, like, why make a horror movie where there's a sentient being and you know that he can't die? The whole point of a horror movie is there's supposed to be some suspense. Whether or not he actually wins or loses, it's whatever the movie people want to come up with. But, like, if you have a horror movie where there's literally no chance that any of them ever kill Michael Myers, then there's no point in watching it. Because you know what's going to happen. He's going to kill everybody, and that's it. They're going to shoot him. They're going to blow him up. They're going to do everything that they can to kill Michael Myers, and he won't die. No matter what happens, like last movie, he's laying face down on the ground, dead. Like, lit, or, or, or perceivably dead. Got shot eight times, a whole group of people fucking hovering around him. They're like, yeah, we just killed Michael Myers. He just gets up, stabs everybody. Literally, just gets up. Just, just fucking, just eats, just sits on the ground for like five minutes. Everybody's like, oh yeah, it's over. Oh, we killed him. And then he just gets up and kills everybody. And I know that's like the premise of the movie. It's supposed to be somewhat funny, but it's just like, it's like, it's, it's like lazy. It's like, like, and he's not even, bro, he walks everywhere. He walks everywhere. That man doesn't break out in a sprint. Like what? Just sit in for the sub, king for the sub, another for the fucking 316. You're cool. Thank you. Uh, I think that was all of them. It's a curse. Dude, I know it's a curse, but it's just like, why keep making it? Like, I'm, I, my point still stands. Whether or not, oh, he, it's dumb that he's immortal. My point that an immortal fucking horror horror movie is stupid. Because then you can't fuck it. You can't kill him. All right, next one. This one's supposed to be really scary. Smile. 
<gasps> Jesus Christ, turn it down a little bit. What is it you like to talk about? My patient. Hi. I know you're nervous. I just want to have a chat. I'm seeing something no one else can see except for me. It's smiling at me. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that gave me goosebumps. That gave me goosebumps. That gave me goosebumps. Yesterday, a patient in your care died brutally in front of you. <laughs> for Harold and Kumar. I need to find an explanation for what happened. It's smiling at me. It's smiling at me. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a good movie. If I freak out during the trailer, it's a good movie. I'm a pussy, bro. I can't with this. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. I found 20 cases involving 19 victims with a direct line linking them all together. You said only 19. Why is it that everybody else who's seen it is dead and you're alive? I've seen it too. No! Dude, if I saw a replica of myself smiling at me. Oh, nah, bro. I would fucking. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. That might be top. That might be top three scariest possible things. If you. Like, imagine you see yourself. Oh. Oh. Imagine you see yourself. Just fucking staring you down, smiling. I'd be like, bro. I'd be like, bro, what the fuck is going on? You're alive. I've seen it too. You? Get her away from me! How long between each what? victim? What? What? Oh, so no, it's like it's contagious? Bro! Today's my fourth day. I am not gonna keep running. To face it. How does it make you feel? I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. Something bad is going to happen. Bro, yeah, no, that's a yay. That's a yay, bro. I'm watching that movie. When does that come out? Oh, that comes out soon. Dude, that comes out in two weeks. Yo! I need to go see that. I need to go see that movie. That's a good fucking, that looks like a good fucking movie. I like that too, because uh, it, it's a problem with a lot of movies where they, like, they give away everything in the trailer. It's a big thing with comedy movies, where they say, like, every good joke, like, Ted. Like, the Ted trailer says every good joke in the Ted trailer. Um, or, like, other movies, it's just, like, they'll, they'll give away too much. That one gave away some of the plot, but you, you're still in the dark, right? Like, that was still confusing. Like, you're like, why? What is that creature? It kills you if you smile? Are you killing yourself? Is it killing you? Is it contagious? So it's like asking questions, right? It gave, it gave away a perfect amount. That was a good trailer, and I think that'll be a good fucking movie, too. Mandalorian Season 3. Should we watch this one? The trailer for Mandalorian Season 3? It's a show. But it's, nevertheless. Uh, and Lope for the Thringe Bits. It'll be very fitting... To play a scary game after you watch these trailers. Dude, 
I'm they're not all scary. Like that I there's not that many scary ones actually. We're we're, we're moving on. Oh, I want to watch the fucking Avatar one soon. I'm going to move that one up. Most people are saying no. Do we watch this one or do we skip it? And we'll skip it cuz it's a show. It might give something away. We'll skip that. We'll skip that. We'll watch the Disenchanted official trailer. Lost me. Nay. 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 Already lost me. Already lost me. <laughs> Shut up. Nay. I know the change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. It's too happy. I like, it's not, dude. I like, it's just, I feel like you, I feel like most people. It's just like, I've, I don't know. I feel like I've grown out of these Disney movies. Like, there's certain, not all Disney movies, right? Like, there's a shitload of Disney movies that are good as fuck. But, like, certain Disney movies, bro, it's just like, ugh, like the singing ones. It's like, yeah, they were okay when I was a kid. But now that I'm, like, an adult, or I'm, like, becoming an adult, it's just like, I understand, like, life isn't amazing, <laughs> right? Like, life isn't always great. And so, when I see movies where everything's fucking fantastic and everything, no matter how bad it gets, is always in the end fantastic, I fucking hate it. If I learned anything from meeting a princess on a billboard is that sometimes you just have to take a leap. Let's start our new life. Pretty soon this whole place will feel like home, you'll see. It's all part of the adventure. That's let's no no no. Let's run this back. Let's run this back. It's all part of the adventure. Have one of them get stabbed. I'd watch this movie if this was disenchanted, and it's like yeah, oh we're gonna start a new life. All this shit. Throw Michael. Nah, yeah. Then throw Michael Myers in. Yeah, I would watch that shit. I would watch that shit. Yeah, ah uh ah -huh, uh -huh. And she's always fucking happy. And then they get here to Monroeville, and then, like, they move into the haunted house or some shit. They don't say that. She, one of them just gets fucking killed in the first, like, five minutes of the movie. I'd be like, oh, my God. Like, that would be a Disney movie. I'd be like, holy shit. I'd watch that. Like home, you'll see. It's all It'll be just like home, you'll see. Have the dad get killed. Part of the adventure. That's not an adventure. That's a landfill. A land filled with adventure. God, like so cringe. T. Edward! Robert! Congratulations! Oh, it's what they call a fixer upper. Yes, once your peasants have dug out the moat and added a turret and a balcony from which you can sing. I see it now. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Melvina, Monroe, I would have sold you this house, but I deal in slightly more upscale homes. Oh. In Andalasia, the hardest part of life is finding your happily ever after. This world's very different. What is this movie even about? I am lost. I am genuinely lost. What is this movie about? I like, like, I, I have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand it. She was singing. They moved. People fucking teleported from what? An alternate dimension. And in this dimension, they want them to make a castle. Where she can sing. If this world is not to your liking, then you must change it. I wish. What is this, Harry Potter now? She's got a fucking wand? Oh, there's dancing too. Oh, there's... Fuck! Ow. One out of ten. One out of ten. I already know this movie's gonna be fucking terrible. Well, uh, yeah, everybody, let's just break out into dance for no fucking reason. Bring out Michael Myers. No, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Dead ass. Hold up. Hold up. Michael Myers. What is the, th what is his theme song name? Start playing it right here. 
they start dancing. You hear you hear the Michael Myers. He just starts walking in frame and just stabbing every person possible. That that would be a bam, 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 bam. and everybody just they don't stop dancing. They're, they just they're just so they're so locked into their dance they can't stop. They're screaming. They're panicking, but they're all a part of their group dance. They can't get out of it. They can't get out of it. They're fucking... Oh, no! And they're still doing the fucking dance. And he's just... Bah, bah, just stabbing them. Yes. That would be a good movie. That would be a good movie. I would watch that. But instead, I have this happy-ass fucking... Oh, yeah, life is great. I wish. Jumping jelly stick. Wait, how am I talking? Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin and the Chipmunks. For a fairy tale life, and it's all gone terribly wrong. Or terribly right. Where's the conflict? Where's the conflict? Every movie has a problem. Every movie has a problem. Where is the conflict? You haven't introduced it yet. At the last stroke of 12, nothing will be as it was before. Demo That's it. At the last. Clock at 12, nothing will be as it was. What? Uh oh. Oh, Giselle, what have you. Oh, and now she's evil. What? Like. Dude, it's like somebody on acid made this movie. Like, I swear to God, it's like half of these fucking Disney movies. Duh. <laughs> This is a remake? Oh yeah, no, it probably is. Every Disney movie is a remake. It's a sequel? I don't give a fuck! Okay, let's watch the first one. What is... Enchanted trailer. Let's watch Enchanted trailer. Let's watch the Enchanted trailer from fucking four years ago. From 2007. This is the first one. That's why it didn't make sense, chat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of all the classic Disney stories... Oh my god, is this in like like fucking 140p? Is there a better fucking trailer? HD, here we go. God damn. Of all the classic Disney stories, there has never been anything like Enchanted. This is the first one. Because no other story has ever taken you <gasps> to a land as strange and terrifying as ours. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Okay, okay, that's cool. That's fucking cool. That's fucking cool. Okay, nah, that one got me. Yeah, nah, this one's fucking dope. Nah, that one's fucking dope. Okay, okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, now that second one looks dog shit. This one's cool. It goes from cartoon to fucking real. Oh, that's actually lit. Oh, that's actually so cool. Oh my. I was wondering if one of you might direct me to the castle. Watch it, will you? Grumpy. Nobody's been very nice to me. Yeah, well, welcome to New York. Thank you. Giselle, I will rescue you! No. Who's gonna rescue me? I seek a beautiful girl. I, I, I'd like to find one of them, too. Ah, no, nah, this movie's cool. This movie's cool. This movie's cool. I like the idea. I like the idea. I feel like it's somewhat cringy, but, like, I feel like you can't avoid that level of cringe. Their world and our world... I think she may be a real princess. ...are about to collide. All right, everyone. Let's tidy things up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And nothing will ever be the same. <laughs> There's the conflict. Where's the conflict in the other one? Be the same. A fucking dragon. Now that's a conflict. Now that's a fucking conflict. Now that's a movie conflict. This is 2000 vibes? Well, it is. 2007. Rolling for this up. This Thanksgiving. How does she know? Don't sing. It's okay. You know, let's just walk. One Why do they release movies on Thanksgiving? 
Have y'all ever gone and seen a movie on Thanksgiving weekend? No. Like, no. Ordinary man will have to get them back home before time. I, I could see why, because you're off. It's like, oh, like a family, your whole family could go. Runs out. Magic Mirror, I beg you. Tell me where she is. Reporting from 116th and Broadway. 116th and Broadway. <gasps> Thank you, Mira. Walt Disney Pictures presents the motion picture event of the holidays. All right, yeah, now nah, this one looks better. This one looks better. Now, now the second one makes more sense, but the second one still looks like actually trash. I'm not even going to lie. That second one looks like actually trash. It looks so mid. Oh, God damn it. Now we got another one. Th my girlfriend, I have to see this movie. I have not seen the trailer for this, but I know I'm going to see this movie regardless of whether or not I like the trailer. Hocus Pocus 2, my girlfriend's most anticipated movie ever. In, in her words, in, her, in my girlfriend's words, this is the most anticipated movie ever. In, in, in her mind. In, in, in her mind, this is the most anticipated movie that has ever is ever going to come out. I banish thee from Salem <gasps> forever. Jesus Christ is so fucking loud. They were right to fear thee. Magic has a way of uniting. Happy 16th birthday, child. I have a gift for my favorite customers. Legend has it, it's on the 16th birthday that a witch gets her powers. Is this a prequel? Is this a prequel to the first one? It's been 29 years since somebody lit the black flame candle and resurrected. It's a sequel. Yeah, but it looks like it was a prequel. I feel like it, it no, it's probably having some backstory on them. How are they alive? How are they alive? When did the first Hocus Pocus come out? Hocus Pocus was it came out in 1993. Dude, I think they just made them look old then. And so now they're actually old. Yeah, she's 76 now. Yeah, so they just made her look old then. Because in the first movie came out in 1993, she would have been, what, 29 years younger? So, yeah, they just made her look old. But now they're actually old. Now they're actually just old. Gilbert? Where did you get that candle? We have to get out of here. The witches will be here any second. Ah! The, the book is alive. He woke up? <gasps> oh. If we intend to live past sunrise, we have to steal their souls. Whoa, 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 wait. Can we talk about this? No. <laughs> we must fly! <laughs> Freak out the eventual maniac obsessed with getting revenge on Salem. So, in the trailer, it says they come every 29 years. It came out 29 years ago. That's so fucking cool. That is so fucking cool. That's actually cool. That's actually fucking cool. That that is dope. That is dope. That they do that. What? There's another movie that's like that. What is the other movie that's like that? There was another movie that did that. It was a horror movie. Am I wrong? It was, was it every se it was like every 17 years or something? Was it Pennywise? It was Pennywise the Clown. It was It. Yeah. It did the same thing. This one's even longer, though. It was how many, how often did It come? How often does It come? Every 27 years. Yeah, so Hocus Pocus is every 29. Wow. Do you think in 29 years from now, they're going to make another one? That would be so fucking cool. That'd be so fucking cool. Well, I mean, they'll be dead then, the witches, but they could get somebody else. We should get some salt. Why? So we taste better when they eat us? Right out. 
Nah, that's cringe. Nah, that's cringe. Wait, it's available for streaming? Movie event streaming. Wait, so it's not even in theaters? It's just out September 30th? That's not six feet under. Oh, not that guy too. He's from the first one. Stop, I am a good zombie. Is that a yay or a nay? I would wa I, I would watch I mean I have to watch it. But I would say that's still a yay. I would watch that. That looks that I, I think the premise of it being the same thing as like it, where it's like every twenty nine years. I think that is I think that is pretty fucking dope. I think that is pretty fucking dope. So uh, I think that is cool. I'm down to watch that. I am down to watch that. All right. Next. Next. Ben for the sub. Yoru for the sub. Mini for the three bets. Oh, this is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. This is more of a first time trailer, so it's not complete. Adam, hear me. I can feel you. So we're saving the galaxy again? I'm already saying yay to this. I'm already, like, like, I don't even need to see the trailer. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite fucking movie groups. I'm, I'm just gonna say yay. Like, immediately, I'm just saying. This could be a trash-ass trailer, too. I'd still watch the movie. We're back as a team. Was it Why is Sylvester Stallone... That could make it worse or better. I don't know. When they see what I have created here, their wrath will dissipate. It's the next step in our evolution. More powerful, more beautiful. The kid from Were the Millers? What is this? A fucking a movie collab in every way? The kid that's nuts swelled up when a fucking tarantula bit his balls in Were the Millers? What the fuck? Oh, beautiful. Is this fan made? This is fake? Dude, I knew what I was gonna say. What the fuck is happening? Uh, dude, thank you. I, I, bro, is this fake? It's fake. Oh my god. I was about to be like, what? Why the fuck? Should we finish it? Either way, I think it's funny. This is just so fucking dumb. Like that they're combining. What the fuck? of the galaxy how is this fan made i feel like some of these clips haven't even been released Adam. dude is this even what it's gonna be about like i feel like i feel like this makes no sense if you want people to believe this is a legit trailer don't use an obvious shot from the thriller Midsummer. Will Poulter's skin will be gold throughout uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because, you know, Adam Warlock. Pretty cool, but it's a jerk move to advertise a concept trailer as real. Yeah, that is annoying. That is annoying they added. They made that seem real. It has a million views, too. Doesn't have at all the amount of likes um, 2 million views should have, so I feel like people realized it was fake. Now, is this one right? This one's right, right? Yes, Marvel Entertainment. Okay, now we have what? Damn, 38 million views. Wakanda Forever official teaser. This movie comes out November. Uh, Forest for the sub. This one's real. No woman, no cry. You want to, you know, I have never seen Black Panther with audio, and it's one of the best Marvel audio movies there has ever been. I watched Black Panther on a movie with, or on a, I watched Black, the entire Black Panther movie in subtitles on a plane. I didn't have headphones, and so I, I basically read the script of Black Panther. 
Uh, I have never seen Black. I probably should rewatch it before I watch Wakanda Forever. But uh, it was still good. It like and that shows that that's a good movie, right? It shows that that's a good movie because it's a movie that I wouldn't watch otherwise. You better rewatch that shit. I know. Is it? Doesn't it have like the best soundtracks and just like overall, just like I don't, I don't know how to say. It just has good audio. It's like it's like the voices are good. Like I don't even know what half the characters sound like. Like just being real. Like I've, I've, li I literally watched it, but I read the subtitles. There was no audio. I just, I just watched it on the front of a movie. They just birthed the kid in the water. Isn't that a thing? A water birth? Nah, this will be a good movie. I don't even I don't even know what the the, the big conflict's gonna be, but it'll be a good movie. A powerful nation in the world, and my entire family is gone. Have I not given everything? Oh my God! I forgot he died. Oh my God! No, not even in the movie. Like, dude, I, oh, I forgot he died in real life. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, I literally forgot about that. I was actually about to ask, why is he not in the movie? Oh, my God. Wow, that's so sad. Was the younger girl that's like my age portrayed as the sister or the daughter of Black Panther? Because I think she's the main character in this movie. She's the sister. Yeah, she's portrayed as the main character. Or I would guess. Do you think she'll be the main character? Who will be the main character? I mean, that's... I mean, that could be a girl or a guy. Like, you don't know. It'll be Kendrick? You think it'll be Kendrick? It's poor, poor trade, not pro trade. I always say pro trade. I've always said pro trade, and I've never, I'm never going to change it. Nah, this will be a good movie. This will be a good movie. Michael B. J Michael B. Jordan. Rumor has it Michael B. Jordan's character who died is going to be resurrected. Really? Really? If he gets resurrected and then he's good, that would actually be kind of cool. Saki for the three bits. Uh, thank you for making my day better. I have to work in 15 minutes. Also, how have you been in the hills? If uh, I don't know for the stuff. I'm not even, bro. I'm not. Have fun at work. I, uh, bro just said, have you been in the hills? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Next one. Avatar. We got to get into some action movies. Yo, chat. Link some action. Look, link some upcoming action movies in the Discord. Uh, in, the, in the video suggestion tab. 
It comes out the 11th of November. Yeah, I have John Wick 4 queued, but I feel like we haven't seen any new action movies that are going to be coming out. I'm going to actually check the Discord right now to see. Hold up. Y'all linked Spider-Man. Ooh, y'all ranked Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll show that one. That one will be good. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah, and then motherfucker just linked Little Mermaid again. All right. Well, we're not looking at the Discord anymore. Let's show the Avatar first. Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Trailer. Shazam 2 is coming out. Yeah. Oh, dude, I should fucking... We should show that one, too. It's always weird seeing these Avatar movies and just movies like this. Doesn't it seem like this could be real? Like, whenever I watch these movies, I'm like, I could envision, like, like this actually existing. It's always, it, it's so odd to me. This December. I'm going to withhold my thoughts until the end of this trailer. I have some choice thoughts about this movie. making it water related because last time it was air related okay i'm a sh i'm about to shit on this chat i'm about to shit on this chat i'm gonna watch the movie but it's it's obviously a money grab avatar one was a standalone movie and you can't tell me otherwise the ending of avatar was it it you there was no did avatar even have like a, a possible lead off into the next movie like if you watched avatar one like, it's still a yay, like, I'm going to watch it because I know it's it, they put a lot of money into it. But it's just, like, they made this movie because they know Avatar 1 is what? Like, the highest grossing movie all time? Isn't Avatar the most successful movie ever? Is Avatar the most successful movie? I'm pretty sure it is. It remains the highest grossing domestic release of all time. It made $2 billion in 54 days. Two billion. Highest grossing film ever. That's insane. It's like, that's why they're making another one. Because if you actually look, dude, if you watch Avatar 1, it's like, it, like, they wrap it up. Like, they wrap up the movie. It's like, okay, yeah, here's the resolution, done. It's never like, I, I don't, I haven't seen it in a while, so I may be wrong. But I don't remember, like, a, a peak for another conflict, right? Like, if you watch a Marvel movie, it'll end, and then they're, like, right at the end, it'll be like, oh, another conflict that, like, is gonna happen soon. Oh, this is, like, another thing that, oh, just got fucking shown at last five seconds of the fucking movie. Did they even do that in Avatar 1? I don't think they did. I feel like they just fucking showed that shit. They just finished that movie, and now they're just trying to add on another one. I don't even know what the conflict's gonna be this time. Probably people trying to kill them again. System for the sub. I don't know for the sub. They leave it open-ended. They leave it open-ended, but they didn't show it. They leave it open-ended because, like, they just want a chance to make another movie every time. All right, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, part one.
Got a minute? Oh! What? Whoa. When? How does... Why do... Have they never made this into a video game? They should make this into a video game. How did she... How, how did you get... How have you been? Uh, it's a long story. Is this the room you grew up in? Uh, it, it is. But, uh, my, my dorm room is very adult. Right. No, of course. Hey, are these your drawings? What? No, oh, no. good. Oh. <sighs> I missed you, too. Okay. So, what are you doing here? I, I mean, I... Dude, it's so quiet. I thought I'd never see you again. Want to get out of here? I... Grounded. Bummer. What? Is Spider Man grounded? How the uh, fuck? Um. Uh, I mean, I. I... Alright, I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm not trying to be that guy. Even if you had. Even if you had the capability to stand on that shit. And I know they got super strength, bro. But even if you had the capability to stand on that shit. You would have to have the massive ab strength to fucking stand parallel to the ground. Uh, I mean, I, I... Bro! Two Inch just said, let me sniff the window. It looks good. It looks good. I like it looks good. It looks good. It, the art style is cool. Art style is cool. I like you really can't complain about it. Spider Man. It's it's Spider Man. Braden for the three. James Cameron has wanted to make at least three even before the release of Avatar. It's not a money grab. Uh, it's uh, it's not. What well, is money grab? Because they're they're, they're panning the, they're panning the uh, they're panning the movie style to kind of be similar to the to the old one, but. Uh, instead of like changing it up as if if the, if the first Avatar did really bad, they would have changed a lot of things up. They're kind of just keeping the same exact format of humans, problem, cool fucking water Avatar shit. So it's not like the same movie. Boom, new movie. Uh, I think it'll be good, but I, I, do think, I do think the Avatar movies in general are just, eh, I don't know. Like they're good, but I don't know. Uh, no, but that Spider-Man will definitely be good. Crucible for the Thrins Bets. This is a game on PlayStation. It's canon to be it's canon to remaster. It's honestly better, but not that much. The powers are just fun to use. If you ever decide to get a PlayStation, it's called Spider's Morales. I'm not I'm not I'm not buying a PlayStation to play fucking video games, dude. Literally no shot. Literally no shot I buy a PlayStation so I could play one fucking video game. Alright, Shazam 2. Shazam 2 trailer. I think Shazam 1. Did y'all fuck with Shazam 1? I fucking loved Shazam 1. I watched it the other day for the first time like two weeks ago. It was a great fucking movie. A great fucking movie. Like literally almost no complaints. I, I thought that movie was fucking fantastic. I'm an idiot. It's showtime! I don't deserve these powers if I'm being honest. Like what am I even contributing? Ow! There's already a superhero with a red suit with a lightning bolt on it. <laughs> Aquaman is literally huge and he's so manly. And Batman is so cool. And I'm just me. Isn't Shazam technically more powerful than, like, some of them? Like, couldn't Shazam theoretically kill Batman? Like, if Shazam and Batman went out of fight, Shazam would win. Jay for the sub. Like, I, and, and I'm not, okay. I, there's going to be a lot of Batman fucking dick riders here that are going to be like, oh, no, Batman's a mess. Bat, 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 bat. Batman's a dude. Okay, Batman is a human that's rich. Um, so the fact that they even made a Batman versus Superman, I find dumb. But, like, Shazam's literally, like, insanely powerful. 
I feel like a fraud. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, the wizard gave me superpowers. Yeah! And then everybody got superpowers. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Now everyone's kind of like doing their own thing and I'm the only one trying to keep it together. You understand I'm a pediatrician, right? <laughs> fate of your world depends on it. I thought he died. What the fuck? I thought this guy was dead. Jaden for the sub. Your world or was he just weak? Depends on it. The daughters of Atlas are coming for you. Children stole the power of all the gods. This is very Oh, they're gonna fight gods. See, that's cool, bro. And they got Eminem on this shit, bro. Ah, uh, nah, this is gonna be a banger ass movie. Storm for the sub. DC, DC, starting to get their shit together, bro. They really are. Look, I might not have as much experience as you because I'm not super old like you, <laughs> but I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies, lady. It's all about family. Guys, that was a signal. Introducing the star of our show. His name is Shazam. Your world will not survive this. I don't know how we fight powers like this. Nah, this movie looks so fucking good, bro. This movie looks so... This is, the, I think, the best trailer we've seen. I think this is the best trailer we've seen today. And I, I don't want to be a, a fucking Shazam nerd... But, like, I think just the idea, the idea of Shazam is just, I think it, it captivates a superhero movie. I think it literally is what kids can dream to be. Because it's hard for, it's hard for, like, a fucking eighth grader or, like, a fucking kid to be like, yeah, I'm gonna be the Hulk. Because the Hulk's 45 and fucking massive. But, like, the idea of Shazam is cool because it's like, oh, you're snapping. Like, oh, Shazam. Shazam, boom. Now, now I'm fucking a superhero. So, it's like, I think that part's fucking dope. It, it, anyone can want... Anyone, regardless of age, can want to be Shazam. I don't know how to fix this, dude, but I really don't. Baby, everyone can be worthy. What eighth grader is dreaming about being the Hulk? Bitch, uh, what, what goddamn superhero did you dream to be, uh, when you were in fucking eighth grade? I don't know. It's every kid's dream in a movie because everybody wants to be a superhero. That's what I'm saying. What superhero did y'all want to fucking be? Spider-Man? Oh my god. I didn't want to be the Hulk. Who did I want to be? I wanted to be Thor. But, like, I, I don't, yo, I dreamed to be Venom. Venom was pretty cool. But Venom, Venom came out when I was, like, a, ugh, when did Venom come out? I think I was a sophomore. When did Venom 1 come out? 2018, yeah, I was a sophomore in high school. Deadpool, Deadpool's pretty dope. Ghosted for the sub. Deadpool, uh, I would want to be Deadpool, but not with the uh, ugliness. You know what I mean? Like, I would want to be Deadpool, but if Deadpool didn't have crocodile skin, because he literally got set on fire and thrown into an oxygen uh, depreciation chamber. Let's give it a chance. Don't for the sub. Go fight for your family. Go fight for the world. I just threw a truck at a dragon. <laughs> I love my life. Yeah, now the actor that plays him too is pretty fucking good. Yeah, now that's a W movie. That 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 is going to be a W movie. Like I know that's gonna be a good fucking movie. All right, this is an older trailer, but I just wanted to show it because it is so confusing, and I haven't heard of this. This trailer came out in 2015, and it makes no sense, okay? Director Robert uh, Rodriguez and writer John Malkovich have collaborated with the help of Louis the Thirteenth Cognac to make a movie that no one will see for 100 years. Literally. Here's one of three teasers that have nothing to do with the movie itself. This is a movie that's going... We will all be dead 
when this movie comes out. This is a movie trailer that will not come out while we are live. Or a movie that is not going to come out while we are live's trailer. In 2015, I, John Malkovich, shot a film which will be held for 100 years. The time required to create Louis XIII. Imagine the future. You want my dead ass opinion? I don't think this movie will be released. Like, I, I think, like, motherfuckers are gonna forget about that shit. Yeah, a hundred years just for this movie to suck dick. You're late. You miss me that much? And this doesn't even have to do with the movie. These are trailers that have nothing to do with the movie. And the actors also won't see the release of the movie, because it they'll be dead. 2015. So in 20 in 2115, this movie will be released. Thrilling. Hey. What are you doing here? It seems like it's not, there's not even a movie. You know what I mean? Not, hashtag not coming soon. I feel like this was just a big ad. They could theoretically not even have a movie. It could just build hype. They could build hype for something that they never have to fulfill on. It's an ingenious idea, right? They're building hype for a movie, for a sponsorship for Cognac. People are going to buy Cognac. Because they've heard of this, it's just, it's just, some, it's in their mind now. And they never even have to make the movie. They could theoretically have zero movie made, never film it, never do anything, and it wouldn't matter. Because everyone that has seen the trailer and they're profiting off of will be dead. <laughs> when the movie is supposed to be released. Donna for the sub, Purple for the 300 bits. Can you react to the Barbarian trailer, please? Barbarian trailer. In theaters September 9th, so it's already out. This movie is already out. Should we react to this trailer, chat? Even though it's already out? Dude, y'all are sending so many goddamn trailers. Holy shit. Pearl. This is another trailer. Dude, there's so many. And we still have all the fucking other ones. Jesus Christ. This might be a full fucking movie day. A, mo a full fucking trailer day. Morbius trailer 2? Fuck off. Fuck off. Is this real? Is this fucking real? This isn't real. When is Morbius 2 coming out? When is Morbius 2 coming out? Morbius 2. Morbius 2 release date. Early 2024? You're out of your fucking mind. They're really going to make another one? Do you think Morbius 2 will be a flop as well? I feel like they're going to try really hard on Morbius 2. Just to fucking get that shit to be good. Because if they fuck that up too, that'll be such a fucking meme. Alright. Here we go. Hold up. Alright, Barbarian. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. This is 476 Barbary, right? Yeah, I'm renting this place. No, I booked it a month ago. Are you sure you have the right place? Yeah. Who am we supposed to do? Why don't you come inside and we'll call these idiots. Is this a romance movie? Cashier. Oh, no. 
I don't know if you got a great look at this neighborhood, but I don't think you should be. Oh, is this like a psychopath murderer who like stays at that house and tells them that they, they double booked it? They never figure out a solution and then he kills them. Oh, it's literally a serial killer movie, isn't it? Be out there by yourself. Some stay for a week. Some stay longer. It's dry and there's a lock on the door. By the way, I'm Keith. Tess. You take the bedroom and I'll sleep out here on the couch. God. I would not fall asleep. You're out of your fucking goddamn mind. If I booked an Airbnb and another motherfucker was there, I'd say, uh, get the fuck out. I don't care if you booked it too. I take priority, bitch. You're out. I'm in. Get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> oh, no, nah, bro. You're going to be standing over. Oh! 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 Dude, if, if that happened, I'm immediately jumping out the window. I don't care if I'm cutting open my entire body from the glass. I'm leaving. Some never leave. Keith? Oh, is he like a monster? Don't go in the basement. The one thing that they would tell you not to do. Don't go in the basement. I'd leave the house. I would leave the house. Why are you staying in the house and going deeper into the home? Chronic for the sub. I feel like this is going to be a good movie. Or this is a good movie because it's already out. But I feel like, you know how some horror movies, it's just like, they make every wrong decision they could possibly make. Like, I like horror movies where it's like, they're in the situation, but not due to themselves. Like, they're in the scenario, but they it's not their fault. Like, I hate when I see these horror movies where it's like, she could have easily just left the house, but decided to go deeper. And then fucked herself over. Like, Smile. Smile is unavoidable. Yeah, the one that we were watching. Nah, it's gonna be some weird fuck. Oh, nah. Is he good or bad? Is he good or bad? This movie's good. No, this is a good trailer. Yay. Yay. Yay in the chat. Yay's in the chat, bro. These yeah's in the chat, bro. This is definitely watching this. Definitely watching this. This movie's out. This process might seem overwhelming. But with a little practice, it can soon become a pleasurable experience. What is it, like, catacombs or something? This is perfectly natural. Barbarian. Some say, in Barbarian, a young woman traveling to Detroit for a job interview books a rental home. She discovers the house is double booked. A strange man is already staying there. Blah, blah, blah. But soon she discovers there's more fear than an unexpected house guest. It's the back rooms. Bro, do you ever think they're going to make a movie on that? Like a genuine movie on the back rooms? That would be so fucking dope. They should do that. With the help of that dude that made the YouTube videos about him, if they like intertwined with him and they made an actual movie, that would be good as fuck. That would be a good ass movie. They should do that one day. All right. Glass Onion is the next one. What a weird name for a movie. Or a weird name for a movie trailer, movie in general. All right. Hold up. A Knives Out Mystery. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is an action movie. Oh, this is an action movie. It's got fucking Batista in it. This is it. You expect it? The mystery. You expected a puzzle. But for one person on this island, the 
This is not a game. Will you explain it to us then, detective? This is off of a book! This is off of a book! What book is this off of? One of them leaves. This is off of a book. They're all rich motherfuckers. What is this off of? Yeah, this is a book. What book is this? No, it's not James Bond. It's a sequel? Knives Out is a sequel? No, but like, bro, what? No, this seems- This, this is Knives Out 2? Bro, but this looks like a, a book, though. There's a book that, like, you go to an island and you have to, like, only one person leaves. There's already a Knives Out. This is Knives Out 2. Ugh, do we have to watch the Knives Out 1 trailer chat to fucking understand this shit? Oh, my God. I don't think we need to watch the one. It's like Clue the Game. I'm we I just want to ask a few questions. This is we the first one. The night of his demise, the family had gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. How was it? By the, way? the party? Pre my dad's death? <laughs> oh, it was great. I'm writing this movie down. This one looks good. Stop saying Squid Game, bro. Jesus fucking Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request that you all stay until the investigation is completed. What? Can we ask why? Has something changed? No. No, it hasn't changed, or no, we can't ask. I'm gonna live till I die. You think one of his family walls walls killed? Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah, so it's a mystery movie. Dude, not nah, yeah, no, nah, okay, now nah, let's go back to the other one. Dude, this is off of a book. This has to be off of a book. Night for the sub. I swear to god I read something like this. Sight for the sub. Holy shit! There's a lot of famous fucking people in this movie. Really, Duke? Oh my god! Really? Lock the doors. Stay in your rooms. Everyone is in danger. All right. When's the murder mystery start? Bum, 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 bum. All right. Uh, that seemed good. It seemed like kind of like any other action movie, though, where it's kind of like a, a mystery ish. But it seemed it had a little bit of a spin on it. All right. Pearl. Why are they trying to make it look old? Please, Lord, make me the biggest star the world has ever known, so that I may get far, far away from this place. You know, caring for your family during these times is admirable, but you only get one take at this life. If only they would just die. Pardon? Nothing. Dancing up on the screen like the pretty girls in the pictures. I, I will not let you leave this farm again. I'm worried there may be something real wrong with me. Rumor has it they only take one gal per town. We're looking for someone with X Factor. It has to be me. How about a film nobody else has seen? Is it legal? It will be eventually. Dude, this movie looks fucking good! Bro, it, oh my god, it's got like a creepy factor to it. I know what I've done. Bad things. Oh my god, she killed her dad. Awful, murderous things. All to be famous. I want to be loved from as many people as possible. This is a prequel? This is a prequel to what? But truth is, I'm not really a good person. What the fuck was that? I'm not 
really a good person. Damn. I mean, that's CGI, obviously. Zaddy for the Thringe Vets. Can you react to the human centipede trailers? That would probably be TOS, in all honesty. The human centipede trailers uh, would definitely be a bit over the top. Oh, shit. The invitation. It was always just my mom and me to have a family. That's what I really want. Wait, that's a prequel to X Factor, the movie? No way. I got a cousin. That is the whitest man I've ever seen. He wants to meet up. Oliver? Cousin Evie. <laughs> it sounds so Jane Austen when you say it like that. <laughs> Who the fuck refers to someone as cousin and then their name? Oh, it's just X? I'm writing these down, bro. I'm about to be watching these movies. Swear to God. It sounds so... Hi, Cousin Jane. Oliver? <laughs> cousin Evie. It sounds... Oh, Cousin Evie. Hi, Cousin Evie. Just say Evie. Just say their fucking name. If you have a cousin, or do you guys refer to your cousin as Cousin Blank? No, you just say their fucking name. John. So, Jane Austen, when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom always wanted to take me to England to learn about our family history. There's a wedding coming up, actually. You should come. I would love to, but I... Come on, everyone is dying to meet you. Uh... Wow, it's incredible. Oh my god, they drive on the left side of the road. L. 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 Oh my god, they drive on the left side of the road, wheel on the right. L. Oh, it's incredible. That makes no sense. It only makes no sense because I'm used to it being on the right. Or driving on the right, wheel on the left. I believe this is one of our important guests. Evie, this is a close friend of the family, Walter DeVille. Uh, hi. Hi. Looking forward to getting to know you better, Evie. What are you doing down there? Miss, you should return to your room. We're all so delighted that you're here. Which one's the groom? The groom and his bride will make their grand entrance tomorrow. Ready? I, I can't shake the feeling that everyone is staring at me. Can you blame me? You and Walter seem to be getting awfully close, Evie. I'm curious, though. What if he told you about us? Ow! Let me see. <gasps> what the fuck? Nah, if I had a cut on my hand and, so and it was bleeding pretty bad and somebody licked my fucking hand, I would be like, you are a menace. Like, what the... What if she has an STD? Or some shit? Let me see. <gasps> there she is. Where are the bride and groom? As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. Why? Why are they killing somebody? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I am very confused. I am very confused. I am genuinely confused by this movie. Is it makes me want to watch it, though, because it's so fucking confusing. Is. Where are the bride and groom? They're the bride and groom. Oh, my God. Is oh, my is. God. Where? Where are the bride and groom? They're sitting at the front of the fucking table. They're the bride and groom. Where are the bride and groom? As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. To Evie. My new bride. I want to go home. But this is your home. I mean... I mean, they're, they're kind of psychopaths, but... To but Eve. like... But like... My new bride. But like... But like, I want. They're not cousins though. To go home. They're not cousins though. That I don't think that's the cousins. I I don't think they're cousins. I mean like, bro, like, 
like, I'm not trying to be weird here. He's a handsome, rich British man. I mean, like, yeah, he might have sliced somebody's neck. <laughs> Are they actually, they're actually cousins though? Okay, yeah, then it's, then it's even more weird. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't think that was the cousin that, that he met. No, that's somebody else. They're two different people. They're two different people. That's the cousin. This is your home. He's a family friend. Get up and Oh, they're vampires. Help me, please. Yeah, dear. Hello, Mr. Harker. Oh, that explains it. Oh, that explains it. Oh, they're vampires. There's a young lady who seems quite distressed. I'm so glad you've come to your senses, my love. Oh, she's gonna become a vampire? That would be pretty lit, though. That would be pretty lit, though, to be a vampire, though. That would be pretty lit. You could just eat pig's blood, and then you're immortal. Inguinuity for the sub remains for the 300 bits. You should watch Ready or Not. Well, being immortal would suck. Uh, you could watch Ready or Not uh, if you think it's interesting. Isn't, re isn't Ready or Not already out? Yeah, Ready or Not's already out, right? Well, that's also a video game, too. Ready or Not is a, is a movie and a video game. Yeah, that's already out. I'm watching ones that aren't out yet. Or ones that have just come out, rather. Even if they remain... 3,000 years of longing. You and Edward have the same haircut from what? Have you seen the Smile horror movie trailer? Yeah, we have. Hold up. I gotta actually go piss real quick. Count me down 30 seconds. I gotta fucking pass. We're back. All right. Uh, Crucible for the 300 bits. I DM'd you a trailer of a movie that's been out for like nine years, but it's a creepy ass movie. You should give it a whirl. I don't really want to watch movie trailers that aren't uh, the whole point. I want to, we're going to do a whole nother day where we watch movie trailers that are already out. And we're going to do one day where it's the worst trailer, movie trailers ever and the best movie trailers ever. Um... So I'll watch it for one of those, but I'm not watching it today. Swishy for the 300 bits. You should react to Black Phone. That movie's also already out. 3,000 Years of Longing. My name is Alethea. My story is true. I am a solitary creature by nature. I have no children, no siblings, no parents. I did once have a husband. If there is fate, who can say? But in the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul, I chose a memento. I like it. Whatever it oh, is, I I'm sure it has an music, bro. Story. What the fuck? So, what would you wish for? What is your heart's desire? <laughs> is he just a massive genie? Is that the is that this movie? He she buys something and it's just a fucking genie. I do have a question. What does one do with three wishes? You'll see.
Hold up. Okay, they were clothed. They were clothed. I thought the one I thought the one in the back wasn't clothed. Thank fuck they were clothed. I'm not gonna reshow that, but I thought they were naked. <laughs> There's no story about wishing that is not a cautionary tale. We all have desires, even if they remain hidden from us. But it is your story, and I cannot wait to see where... If you had three wishes, what would you wish? I don't know. Like, and you can't use more... You can't say more wishes, right? If I had three wishes... Fuck! I don't know what I would pick. <laughs> The meaning to life. No, I would want to know. I would want to know the meaning of life. What would happen after death? And then money. <laughs> <laughs> the meaning to life. What happens after death? And then a shitload of money. And then that would be it. That would be it. That would be it. That would all. That would be all I would want. From, because I don't know what else I would want, like, to pick. I mean, like, I have a girlfriend. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, someone I love. Like, I love my girlfriend. I don't need that. Cure world hunger. Yeah, but if you have unlimited amounts of money, you could do that. You could just say, like, oh, four trillion dollars. <laughs> Give me five bajillion dollars. But then you, but see, here's the issue. Here's the issue. If you ask for a lot of money... If, the more money you have, the higher the inflation is. So if I asked for like $10 trillion, the value of money would be lowered because I would have so much. It goes. Oh, how it might end. Hello. Hello. He'll be staying for a while. This movie looks very confusing. I'm beginning to wish we'd never met. Don't say that! Ah! Oh, if she says, I wish we never met. Make a wish! Save yourself! Nah, this movie looks good. This movie looks good. This movie looks good. Is this a yay or an A, chat? I would wish that the afterlife exists. More chicken for the fringe bits. Oh, you could theoretically. Yeah. My first wish. Is there an afterlife? <laughs> Let me know. What, uh, my second wish. If there's not an afterlife, make there an afterlife. <laughs> that would be the best. That would be it. That would be it. I would watch that. I would watch that. I would watch that. Oh, God. Now we got the John Wick one. Have you given any thought to where this ends? The table will never stop. You know this. No one. Not even you. Can kill everyone. <laughs> Was that a yay or a nay? I feel like any John Wick movie is good. Like, you can't really fuck up a John Wick movie. It's just... It, like, it, John Wick movies, the the whole... Pr it, it's basically the game of Hitman. John Wick is not a hired Hitman, but the whole premise of John Wick is he's really good at fighting. He's fighting someone else. <laughs> it's feasibly an unending movie. 
as long as John Wick is capable of filming these movies, it will never end. <laughs> because all every movie, all they have to do is move him to a different area. So, like, say one movie, he's in the U.S. Okay, now, John Wick, you're in Japan. Okay, you're going to be fighting these massive crime lords that have the best fighting talents capable and they want to kill you. Okay, next movie after that. Oh, now we're in Russia. Now we're in South America. Now we're in South Africa. Now we're in Australia. Like, he could go... It, 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 he, any movie that John Wick is in is just... If there's good fighting scenes, it's a good movie. Because the premise of the movie is very, is very changeable. All right, this one's going to be... This one's going to be questionable on whether or not my chat would watch this. We met in virtual reality. Official HBO trailer. Making friends here is sometimes what saves people's lives. Or what gets them up out of bed in the morning. I am a teacher for Helping Hands, a sign language community here in VR chat. Hand rested under our elbow, and we're gonna go like this. Christmas. Slow. Quick, quick, slow. If I had confidence that I could teach dance as a living in VR, I totally would do exactly that. With a long distance relationship, having VR is a game changer. We are 5,000 miles apart, but we're gonna try our best to make it work. This year has been really hard. The thing that has kept me sane has been VR <laughs> and the VR community. I would not have weathered this without you guys. Three, two, one, happy new year! You can be who you've always wanted to be, and you can, in a way, start over. We can come together and support each other. This community means a lot to me, and I really want them to know that they're loved. I, uh, I wouldn't watch this movie because it's filmed in virtual reality. I, I think it would be a better documentary. It is a documentary. It is actually, okay, then it's a documentary. Maybe, maybe I would watch it. I don't know. It's just like, I feel like virtual reality is too early to make this, right? It's like, uh, it's just, uh, like, it, in 20 years, virtual reality will be so fucking far ahead of where it is now that I think it would be easier to make a quality movie. But, like, this is just, like, dude, it's like it's like you're watching a Twitch streamer. It's like you're watching a Twitch stream, but, like, a bad Twitch stream. And I think there are some meaningful points like this right here where he's talking about, like, oh, these two people are sitting next together in virtual reality. They're dating, but they, in reality, live 5,000 miles apart. I think, like, that, it has, like, a cool premise, and there's cool ideas, and there is a meaning behind the movie, but I think just feel, like, virtual reality is so new that I just feel like it's going to be a mess. I feel like not that many people are going to watch this. Just speaking to the fact that this only has 100,000 views as a movie trailer from two months ago, I don't know. I want to read the comments. As somebody who spends hours on VR chat, whether that's drinking, going to private dance, socializing, blah, 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 I'm both excited and terrified to see and witness the repercussions of this reaching a mainstream audience. Yeah. It could go either way. It could really go either way. I pray some poor person doesn't pick up VR chat expecting an entirely wholesome community. Yeah, I feel like they're making it also seem... Like, have y'all ever seen or done VR chat? I feel like they're making it seem like it's some wholesome, nice community. 90% of VR is dickheads. Like, 90% of VR is you're going into, in, into like, some VR game where people are just arguing with each other. Like, most VR games are just VR chat. Like, you're just, you're just going on and you're just talking to people in different dumb avatars. Like, that's generally the basis of VR, so I don't really know. That could go either way. Uh, Emma for the sub, L Woods for the sub, Lord Chicken for the Thridge Bits. Uh, Jack for the 300 bits. What's the best streaming service? Probably Twitch right now. Then YouTube. I love Lee for the 300 bits. What would you say your favorite movie is? I really like Dude, Where's My Car? I think it's a dumb, funny movie, but f good movie just like straight up for like action or premise of the movie. Dude, I don't know. What was the movie that I just recently saw? 
There's a Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio detective movie. Shutter Island was a great movie. Spidey for the 300 bets. Been watching you for the last two months. Thanks for all the laughs and getting me through my college courses. I'm, I'm glad I could help, Spidey, and thank you for the 300 bets. Deadly for the sub. All right. Now we have our first war movie trailer. I think the only one that is a war movie that we're going to be watching the trailer of today. Swishy for the sub. All Quiet on the Western Front. A Netflix movie. Without even needing to see this, I will watch any war movie. If there is a movie about war, I will watch it. of World War One. And are they going to rush into no man's land and they're just going to get fucking slaughtered? Oh, is that what this is? World War I was like fucking sketch. They're going to rush, aren't they? Now, nah, that looks like a good movie. I would watch that. I would watch that. I, I just think any war movie is a good movie. Or not any war movie, but most war movies are good movies because it just gives an insight on like the soldier in that war and what they went through. And so, like, it, it, it's that's all you have to do. If you do that right, then it's a good movie. Because uh, it's basically a documentary, but not really. Um, if you were to be in any war, what war would you be in? I would pick a war that I would have the highest survival rate. I don't know what war. Maybe the Civil War? Just because I feel like if you played the... Bro, 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 bro. My friend keeps fucking calling me. Asking me about a goddamn mic. Dude. Alright, next one. Mission Impossible. Cody for the five hundred bets. Uh, we have we have two more, and then we're probably gonna go to uh some gaming or whatever you guys want to do. It's a remake of the book from the previous movie. It's taken from the account of a German soldier who learns the actual terrors terrors of trench warfare. I highly recommend the book as somebody who hates reading. All right, Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. This is our chance to control the truth, the concepts of right and wrong for everyone for centuries to come. You're fighting to save an ideal that doesn't exist. Never did. You need to pick a side. I have 
have never seen a Mission Impossible movie. Have you guys ever seen? There's like 15 of them. There's like so many Mission Im- and he's in every one. How many? How many Mission Impossibles are there? There are. I think now there's nine. Wait, no, there's more, bro. Yeah, there's mo- there's Mission Impossible two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait, no, eight. Oh wait, no, there's way less than I thought there is. How many Mission Impossibles are there? This is the ninth one that is coming out. Wait, no. This is the seventh one that's coming out. There's seven. Seven Mission Impossible movies. I just feel like that. How many Fast and Furiouses are there? How many Fast and Furious movies are there? Fucking ten. Oh, my God. I stopped watching Fast and Furious after... Um, who died? Who's that guy that died? Paul? I think his name was. After he died, I stopped watching the movies. Look, for the Thrizzle Bets, I would off myself if I had chosen to raid on D-Day. Yeah, that would have sucked. Uh, Paul Walker, yeah. No, but I haven't, I've, never seen a, I've never seen a Mission Impossible movie, but I know that they're generally just movies that you can't really... You can't really, like, fuck up. Just because, dude, he's... It's like, all you gotta do for Mission Impossible is give him an impossible mission. That is the premise of the entire movie. Mission Impossible. What are we doing? Well, we're doing an impossible mission. Okay, just come out with a new mission that seems impossible to do. Do the Oppenheimer trailer. Okay, we'll do that after this. Isn't Tom Cruise a Scientologist? So loud! Why does it have to get louder? Keep it the same fucking volume, bro. Dude, it double. That's fucking dope. That's fucking dope. He does his own stunts, doesn't he? I think he's one of the only actors that does his own stunts. I respect that if you do your own stunts. Hassan for the converted sub. Uh, it builds suspense. Yeah, it builds suspense, but it just fucking ear blasts me. Nah, this looks like it would be a good movie. What one was he just in? What was the Tom Cruise movie that just came out? Top Gun? Top Gun was, like, really anticipated. Yeah, Top Gun was really anticipated. I haven't even seen either of those either. I've never... I don't watch Tom Cruise. Everybody's saying Oppenheimer. There's not even a real Oppenheimer trailer out yet. It's, um... It's literally... Wait, Oppenheimer teaser trailer. They're all fan-made. Every Oppenheimer trailer is fan-made. Teaser trailer. Like, it's just teaser trailers. We'll watch one, but it's fake. They're all, they're all fan-made trailers of Oppenheimer. Isn't Oppenheimer the dude that helped with the building of the nuclear bomb? I feel I, or the atom bomb. I think that's the whole premise of the movie. I would watch that without even fucking watching a trailer. If you just tell me it's a movie about that, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'll fucking watch it.
Wow. Yeah, no, that would that would be good. That's a good fan made trailer too. That is a good fan made trailer. All right, we got one more. We got one more. <laughs> fucking shit. Devotion. Oh, it is one more fucking fighting movie. New trailer. Official trailer for Devotion. Is that a fucking Jonas brother? Is that is that Joe Jonas? Oh, you guys sent more fucking movie trailers. God damn it. Should we watch the other ones that you guys sent me? Dungeons and Dragons. What the fuck are these? What the fuck are these? You guys sent me some whack-ass ones. Amsterdam. All right. Fucking hell. Dude, this might be a full goddamn movie day. I was expecting to already be done the trailers. We've just added so many. Bullet Train, Terrifier 2. Dude, these all look awful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, hold up. I'm queuing all of them. Um... Alright. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Alright, here we go. We're starting off with this one. We're watching these and I'm done. I'm not watching any more goddamn movie trailers, bro. Uh, they're all too dark for the sub. Ready? We have a whole reaction stream tomorrow. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like I wanna I wanna go on to Kahoot. Set. I could I could cue these for another day. Hit. I wanna go on to something else. Would you rather have extremely white teeth that aren't healthy or extremely t yellow, healthy teeth that are yellow? Yellow teeth. You the only person I ever met belonged in this guy. Just remember you belong down here with us too, okay? Yeah, after this one, we'll do Kahoot. The commanding officer called you one of the best pilots he's ever seen. It must be hard being the only uh, Why Kahoot? It's so boring. I'll pull you guys on what you want me to do. We'll either do Kahoot, Fall Guys, Bloons, Fortnite, whatever. Aviator? Absolutely. The whole world's looking different. Did you ever think that you'd be in a squadron with a colored aviator? Lieutenant Tom Hudner. Jesse Brown. It's good to meet you. Taking a slight detour on the way home. Say again. Fuck that. Would you ever fly a plane like that, chat? If you I would never fucking want to know how to do that. Yeah, let me just go upside down. What are you gonna find out about your wingman cruising at 10,000 feet, Lieutenant? This what isn't Top at? Gun. I never said it was, asshat. Trump, who knows? We might get a peek at who he really is. <laughs> came pouring over the 38th parallel. Our guys need help. Is this about the Korean War? We knew this day might come. Yeah, it doesn't make it any easy. The most important thing is this. We bring everyone home. Mistakes get us killed. Can't take it how many times. All right, that looks good. I'm not watching the rest of that. It's literally going to show the same goddamn fucking scenes. All right. Chat. What are we doing now? Can my mods do a poll of different movies? Or not movies. Games. Oh, my God. Now I'm fucking only thinking about goddamn movies. All right. I added all those to movie trailers. We'll watch them on a different day. <laughs> Bro, stop linking movie trailers in the Discord. Uh, exclamation point Discord, you can link reaction videos in the Discord. Stop linking movie trailers for right now. I'm done watching movie trailers. Exclamation point Discord, you can join the Discord uh, and send videos for reactions. Tomorrow's a reaction day. Uh, Monday's going to be Fortnite and on bands. Tuesday off. Wednesday, we're starting Spider-Man. Uh, Thursday, probably Val? I don't really know. But yeah, hold up. We're going to do a poll on what you guys want to do right now. What do we want to do? Kahoot, Fortnite, Fall, got I don't know why you put Fall Men, Val, or Bloons. A lot of people are voting Kahoot. Ugh, do we want to do a Kahoot right now? 
Yeah, fuck Kahoot, dude. I don't know, bruh. I might say I might veto that. I might veto that. I might fucking veto that, chat. Fuck Kahoot. We already did a Kahoot. Fuck fuck that. I'm not doing Kahoot. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, we already did a whole goddamn Kahoot day. What do we do? I want to play a video game. I don't want to fucking play Kahoot, bro. Fuck Kahoot. Fall Guys, Fort, Val, Bloons. Vote on those. I got to piss. Yet again. Hold up. Uh, you guys are voting. Okay, most people are voting Fall Guys. I'm down to do Fall Guys. I gotta go piss. Yabo for the sub. Petition for Red Dead Redemption. 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 No. I'm not playing fucking Red Dead.